Hi everyone, Gerardo Alvarez, head coach, Marmaine Academy. This week we're going to work on change of direction moves while on the dribble. Changing direction allows you to maintain possession of the ball, uh, get away from pressure, and then also uh, allowing a play to evolve or develop. So Nate Sowers, an incoming junior, is going to take you through three different change of direction moves. I would focus on keeping the ball close to your feet, keeping it under control, making sure you have the, the change of direction move down pat before you try uh, or attempt to go fast. So without further ado, uh, Nathan Sowers. Hi, my name is Nathan Sowers. I'm a junior at Marmion Academy. Uh, I and I play midfield for the varsity team. Today I'll be teaching you some simple change of direction moves. Now, why this is important. In a game, uh, being able to change direction quickly can mean that you can create a goal scoring chance for your team or just keep possession. So it's important to learn these moves and you can build on them as now you keep To do them. this drill, you're gonna need two cones and a ball. Uh, and you wanna put the cones about five yards apart from one another. Now the first move is just a starter move. It's pretty simple to learn. You wanna take a touch towards your cone. You wanna plant your foot next to the ball and then you wanna drag it back with your opposite foot from what you're planting with. Dribble to a cone, plant, drag. Try to do it with both of your feet. That'll help you become a better two-footed player and make you even more dangerous. Plant, drag, plant, drag, plant, drag, plant, drag. Once you start getting the hang of it, you can go even faster and start to build more confidence. Now the second move you want to try is a Cruyff turn. It's also pretty simple. Dribble up to your cone, plant again. You want your foot next to the ball. And then right through your legs. Pretty simple. Plant through your legs. Plant through your legs. Plant through your legs. Plant through your legs. legs. Alright, and the last skill move is just a simple L turn. One of the first moves I learned and probably one that I use the most in games. So you wanna go up to your cone. Again, it's important that you plant your foot next to the ball, and then you wanna drag back and push through. Try with both of your feet, drag, push, drag, push, drag, push. Once you get the hang of it, you can go even faster. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a new skill move, and hopefully this helped you in some sort of way.